Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and I'm here today at Morphy's with a super cool Kongsberg Norwegian M52 line throwing gun. So Norway, this is made in Norway, Norway of course has a substantial coastline and has a long history of fishing and other maritime activities, also plundering Europe, but that's a little farther in the past. <laughs> and the Kongsberg Arsenal, for quite a long time, has been making line throwing guns. And the idea here is uh, you're essentially shooting a rope out to a ship. This is largely intended for shore to ship or ship to ship uh, rescue operations, basically. You have one ship that has you know, suffered damage or is foundering in bad weather. Another ship comes over to try and rescue the crew off. Well, the best way to do that is to actually have a line, a rope, between the two ships. How do you get a rope between two ships in rough, bad weather? Well, you use a gun and you shoot, essentially, a little unpointed harpoon at the other ship. So that's what this is. These are converted from surplus K98K Mauser receivers. Prior to this pattern, uh, Kongsberg made a line throwing gun like this that was converted from uh, Hembrug, a Dutch Monlicker. Before that they also made them out of Yarman uh, rifles. It's kind of like whatever action is cheap and easily available, that'll work. Because all you're really looking for is a single shot action of some sort. So this is the model of Model 52, went into production in the 1950s, stayed in production until at least the 1970s. There was a grand total of about 2,500 of these made. And they were actually marketed as two different types of system. One, which I think was the more common, was the line throwing gun, and that's what we have here. But they also marketed a version of this that was a harpoon gun. Essentially the exact same thing, but instead of throwing a, a rope to be caught and used as a rope, you're shooting a harpoon for hunting at sea. Now, this has a whole case of all of its accessories, which is really, really cool, and we'll go through the whole thing. So let me show you how this is supposed to actually work. So we have the basic gun here. It's just a Mauser action. The magazine has been removed and replaced with just this flat loading tray. The rear end is sort of a sporter stock with a nice pistol grip. It's got a recoil pad on it. This one's pretty solidly hardened up. Note a Mauser would normally have a solid metal part here to encompass the floor plate and the trigger guard. Because there's no magazine, the stock is blind here, and it just has a very simple screwed on sheet metal trigger guard strap. There is a front grip here for holding onto the gun when firing, and that, well, it's not actually connected, but that sits immediately behind a spool of light nylon line. It's it's lightweight, so it's easy to shoot, uh, it's waterproof, it's durable, strong for its weight, all that sort of stuff. We've got a compression strap here to hold this spool in place. And if we look on the front here, it basically says, leave this cardboard in place, don't mess with the packing of the line inside. Because of course this has all been packed so that it will uh, pull and extend very easily without anything tangling or knotting or catching. So immediately before you're ready to fire, you tie this off onto your actual projectile. Before I get too far off track, here is the actual propelling blank cartridge that's used. This one's a dummy, it's already been fired. But it's a 12 millimeter cartridge, uh, has a little wooden plug in the front here to hold the powder in place. Our shipping crate has a couple boxes of original sealed ammunition. So flat five blank cartridges, 12 millimeter, 1.3 grams of ballastite, and this was packed in 1956. So that's pretty cool. Um, the ballastite is a propellant that's chosen specifically for accelerating a very heavy projectile, as opposed to a light one like a bullet. Now the main use for this thing would be ship to ship or shore to ship rescue, where a floating uh, projectile head makes a lot of sense. But there were a number of other potential uses that Kongsberg liked to advertise, and some of those might require a solid heavy uh, projectile tip instead. So they suggested this could be of use for construction crews installing high tension power lines. Perhaps you need to throw a, a rope to start a cable from one tower to another. 
they also suggest it could be used by firefighters trying to rescue people from tall buildings. If you have a building beyond the reach of a ladder, for example, and say you want to throw a line through a window in a burning building, well, you don't want to do that with a lightweight floating wood projectile. A solid steel one would do the job much better. So we have that, same threading, so it'll attach just the same way onto the head of this projectile. Or let's say you need more range. Um, they advertise you could get with this 100 or 110 yards of range. You could do 200 or 250 or 300 yards if you used a rocket-assisted projectile. So I'm not going to pull this out of its original packaging, but we have the Rocket M52. Um, there it is. Rocket M52 for Kongsberg, Kongsberg line throwing equipment, made by the Raufoss Ammunition Factory in Norway. You may recognize them from the uh, explosive observation 50 caliber ammunition that they make today. So, uh, a rocket assisted one. I'm not sure exactly what the mechanism is for this uh, detonating when you fire the, the blank cartridge, but there was something going on with it to do that. It may very well be that the the rod here is hollow, uh, and flame of the from the, the the blank firing comes up through here to ignite the rocket. But really, super cool to have an actual rocket-assisted projectile also here. In fact, there's two complete ones and then two spare rockets in that case. In fact, let me go ahead and show you that case with all of the cool toys in it. So here's the complete thing: line throwing gun made in Norway, uh, Norwegian crown emblem. There, we open this up. And it's like a treasure chest. So we've got the gun itself right there with its one spool already attached. We have a second spool of line here, still sealed up and closed. We've got our two uh, complete rocket assist projectiles. And if I take those off, you can see the whole instruction sheet for how to use it. Over here we have two spare rockets, we have the solid weighted head, disassembly tool, cleaning oil, we have some cases of ammunition down there. Looking down in here a little more closely, we've got the wooden projectile down there. Uh, another Another spool of line, but this is heavier line, conveniently labeled, the front end, the rear end. So you know which end to tie off so that this will unspool very nicely. And then we've got a couple of extra projectile throwing darts, spears, I don't know exactly what you'd term those, but there is your Kongsberg M52 line throwing gun. You see line throwers and harpoon guns around periodically, not all that commonly, but what's really cool about this one is it's still got that original case and all of the accoutrements, and that's really quite rare and really cool. So someone will really get, I think, a lot of enjoyment out of having this complete set. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.